Hey, I'm Ryan Lashbury. I'm from uh, Burlington, Ontario, Canada. So just outside Toronto for uh, anybody who doesn't know. Um, so I'm a senior here, as coach mentioned. Um, I'm a finance major and uh, yeah, I play in the lacrosse team. So um, my journey to get here was a little different being a student athlete. Um, I went to Avon Old Farms, which is uh, a boarding school in Connecticut. And I was recruited to come play lacrosse here. I committed um, actually six years ago yesterday. So just um, a couple, couple months into my sophomore year. Um, so I did have a pretty good sense that I was gonna come to Richmond, um, which made my uh, application process uh, just a little bit easier than, uh, than most students. But um, the process in general was um, fairly easy because Richmond um, has um, a great, uh, great resources in terms of the application process. Um, they answer questions really easily. Um, so um, I found it very easy to apply, um, get my SAT scores in, um, all my high school transcripts, my recommendation, um, and finish their, pro uh, their application process um, with the essay, which was for me the toughest part of the application process. Um, they asked a pretty arbitrary question, which was, um, it was just tell me about uh, spiders. So you could kind of take that in uh, any direction you wanted I had to get creative. I ended up writing three different essays um, and giving them to my college advisor and having him kind of look them over and get a sense of which one was the best, which one I should submit. So when, once I got to Richmond, I had a pretty good idea that I wanted to join uh, the Robbins School of Business. I wasn't exactly sure what I want to do within business um, in terms of my major, but um, the advantage of the liberal arts program is that you kind of have to take a plethora of classes within the school and get a sense of what's the best fit for you. So I had to take, you know, marketing, um, economics, uh, accounting, statistics, uh, finance prerequisites um, and attain a certain GPA. And then once I finished all those with a certain GPA, I was able to pick my major. And so I'm a finance major. Um, it's been it's been a little bit difficult. Um, but it's very rewarding and it's something I really enjoyed doing. So um, on top of being a student athlete, being a uh, finance major at the Robin School of Business is, uh, is no easy feat. Yeah, it requires a lot of work and dedication, but uh, that's something that uh, Richmond has a really good job of, which uh, Coach has mentioned. Um, there's a lot of resources from the academic and athletic standpoint, which um, helps make my days a little easier. So over the course of my four years, I have struggled in classes before where I needed tutors um, and they're readily, readily available. I just email the uh, academic advisor for our team and within about 24 hours, I will have a, a tutor with a full tutoring schedule. Um, so that is very nice. As coach mentioned, there are study hall hours um, and the best part about those is um, within those uh, six hours a week, for all six hours, there are writing consultants and tutors in the actual building where you have to do the study hall. So I remember my freshman year, um, we had it every day around seven o'clock and I would go in and right away, I'd just go to one of the tutors for you know accounting or economics and get help right there one-on-one, -on -one, which makes it a little easier as a student athlete because a lot of times you have you know four hours of practice and film and lifts and different stuff throughout the day so it has been very nice to go somewhere where you can get one-on-one -on -one help outside of class um, so that has been a huge part of uh, my success at richmond is just having the resources available as a student athlete um, to make sure that i um, am performing well uh, in the classroom and not just on the field um, in terms of a day in the life as a student athlete at richmond I normally wake up in the morning and I get over to campus a little early before my 9 a.m. classes um, to get some food. Then I'll have a few hours of classes. I normally have two classes a day, depending on the day. Um, and then it's right to lunch. Then the afternoon is normally blocked off for, depending on the uh, the time of uh, year we're in. So in season, we're 20 hours a week. Out of season, we're eight. Um, so depending on that, I normally have a few hours in the afternoon um, that are dedicated towards film sessions, lifts, runs, agility, strength sessions, and then practice. Um, so it's pretty busy and tiresome, but afterwards you grab a quick bite to eat uh, for dinner and then it's pretty much back to my, uh, my house. Um, I'm off campus. 
where I spend a ton of time doing some work, uh, especially this year as a senior. Um, being in those upper level finance classes, I spent a lot of time um, studying this year and using the tutors so that I'm not falling behind and uh, that I can finish, uh, finish strongly here in my senior year. Um, so that's pretty much a day in the life um, as a Richmond lacrosse student, especially uh, I speak from that perspective. But in general, it just requires a lot of uh, dedication in terms of your athletic and academic success.